Welcome back to the tall grass prairies on the glacial ridge. Zeus named the peonies after Peon, who used the flower to heal Pluto on Mount Olympus. Many years later, florists here in the U.S. started importing the peonies from France in the late 19th century. In preparation for the town's 150th celebration, we're going to be clearing the sidewalk next to the church. What makes the sidewalk so unique are the bricks that make it up. They are Nelsonville salt glazed bricks. This type of brick may have contributed to the industrial revolution of transportation, as the salt coating makes them watertight and the material makes them strong. Nelsonville began in 1877, and by 1904, their brick won first place at the St. Louis World Fair. The Indy 500 racetrack also used to be paved in Nelsonville bricks. The color of the brick is determined by its composition. The more fire shale that's in it, the darker red the brick tends to be. After growing to six factories, Nelsonville had to close its doors due to the Great Depression in 1937, making these bricks a historical relic. Well, that ought to about do it. Cleaned up, good as we can be. A rain did come in and make them nice and sparkly and cleaned up right in time for the sesquicentennial. Looked real nice. We found more of these bricks. Anytime we find them, we'll bring them back to the church. We used some on a project in front of the house, which is next door. Maybe I'll show you that tomorrow. Speaking of finding old things and bringing them back to the church, Nee and I were recently contacted by a couple that's lived here in town for some years. They've been storing copies of the Ridge Farm Republican, out of print and hard to find. Nee and I are taking on the job of digitizing the papers now. I'll let her tell you a little more about it. When Captain Frank Pasture returned from the Civil War, he established the Ridge Farm Times in 1887. By 1895, the paper was known as the Ridge Farm Republican. George W. Gardner owned and edited the newspaper, and J.E. Glick was editor and publisher in 1909. In each future video, we'll find an article from one of these newspapers and read it to you. Meanwhile, we're going through the process of digitization, and that involves taking clear HD photos of each section of newspaper and uploading it to a host that has optical character recognition so anyone could search through the newspapers and find information they're looking for. With Google ending their uploads to their newspaper archive, we're going to have to go through the Chronicling America group through the Library of Congress, and that takes some time. Out in front of our local Carnegie Library, they've added a flagpole to mark the occasion of the sesquicentennial. We had some famous guests drop by. anything to do with it because again it's a tough job to do and we'd like to thank you and we'd like to thank all of you for joining us each week here at the church many more projects coming up so stay tuned be sure to click the bell so you get notified of future uploads if you're new to the channel be sure to look back over we've got 20 videos at least that detail the history of the town and the church. More to come. See you all soon.